This is a Game Caviar production. Okay, so not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, I'm playing Black Ops and I'm talking about Black Ops 2. I was on mpfirst.com and I saw a an article that, that really got my attention. It says, Black Ops 2, did Treyarch move to the future to make COD interesting again? Excuse me, I've had a few beers. And... In the article, some some guy, some douchebag from Treyarch was quoted as saying um, the decision to go to the future was really about answering the question, what can we do to push the boundaries of storytelling in a way that makes sense for us as creative professionals? I was immediately waving the bullshit flag on that. Because in a video game, you don't have to switch time frames to make a game interesting again. On the same note, it does make the game somewhat interesting, but in the case of Call of Duty, if you have the same bull crap that you had in recent Call of Duties, it's not going to be interesting for long. Look, the storyline for the single player in Call of Duty is great. It's always been great. What, what can you possibly do? Look, if you make a good storyline, you have that blueprint, you don't have to go to the future to make it better, to, to push the boundaries of storytelling. I'm not buying that, and I don't think you should either. If you like this video, press like right now, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. But I, I don't mean to sound angry, but that article really, really pissed me off. It's like, look, we know, it, 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 this is what I got from it. The guy was saying, look, we know Call of Duty is stagnant. And and, and instead of us fixing the game, we are just going to take it to another era and another time zone to, to, to pull the, the wool over the customer's eyes and make it seem like it's a brand new game. And I haven't played Black Ops 2, and it could be amazing online. I'm not worried about the single player. I know the single player campaign is going to be great. I'm worried about online, where millions of people play online every day. Right now, I'm looking, I'm playing, um, it's 4.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's 55,000 players online on Xbox Live right now. Those are real-time numbers. Those are the people that they really need to, to pay attention to. I'm playing, you, as you're looking at this, you're wondering why it's in reverse, because everything in Call of Duty is ass backwards. If you shoot somebody, you die. If you knife somebody, I mean, if you shoot somebody, you're hitting them, you're getting hit marks, they knife you to death. That's not how it happens. That's not how a game should be. Everything in this game is ass backwards, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna start putting Call of Duty re, uh, gameplays in reverse. I mean, it's, it, it seems to go along with Everything else that happens in this game. You can't just take a game and jettison it into another time zone or another era in time and make it seem like it's a brand new game. You have to fix the internals. That's like if if somebody is a murderer and a rapist and you see how they look and then you put a wig on them and some lipstick. Does that make them a different person? No. They're still the same monster that, that was doing the same bad stuff before you put the wig and lipstick on it. I mean, it's like it's like they said, it's like putting lipstick on a pig. If you don't fix the internal components of the game, it's still going to be the same thing. Of course, moving to 2025 was a great idea, I guess. It was eye-opening. When I heard about it, I was like, really? Is it going into the future? That's cool. But what about lag compensation? What about the, the, the matchmaking? What about everything online that absolutely kills this game? What about that? What are they going to do to fix that? I have yet to hear anybody from Treyarch or Infinity Ward say that they are going to fix the issues that plague people online. If you want to make Call of Duty interesting again, get dedicated servers. Fix online. That will instantly make Call of Duty more interesting. I don't give a damn if it's in the damn Stone Age and you're playing this damn Fred Flintstone. If you fix online, guess what? It's instantly more interesting to me now because I'm going to be like, look, I can play online and not get screwed over by this game. This is ridiculous. How many, how much more are we as consumers going to take from these companies that are feeding us bullcrap games 
every year and and just raking in the money this is ridiculous like you, they think that they can put a band-aid on this wound it's like if you get uh, your arm cut off and the medic comes with just one single band-aid and puts it over it that's not gonna fix the issue treyarch and infinity ward are either in denial or they are purposely not caring about these issues enough to fix them instead they put out bullshit uh, patches modern warfare 3 and treyarch is put it just took the game and put it in the future like it's gonna change everything now like I said, I haven't played online on Black Ops 2, but uh, just looking at the history of Call of Duty, especially in the last couple years, you can just imagine what online is going to be. If they fix online, fine. This video is completely invalid. Everything that I said is going out the window. But we all know that Treyarch and Infinity Ward are not worried about fixing the online. If they were, they would get dedicated servers, they would actually talk about the lag compensation and everything that plagues online and what they are doing to fix it and actually follow up and fix it. Like this video, comment on this video, let me know what you think. I will put the link to this article in the description and please let me know. I love talking to subscribers and I love hearing what you guys think. I'm not having it and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.